Welcome to WPI. By now, you have gone through your course planning worksheet, and it is time to start picking the courses you are hoping to take for A and B term. To begin, log into BannerWeb using your username and password. Once you have logged in, you are going to select the Student Services and Financial Aid tab. From there, please click Registration, and then select Schedule Planner. This will redirect you to a new page. Select Fall 2016, Save and Continue. On this next screen, you are going to want to make sure that Fall 2016-A term is selected. For now, we will work on building your, your A term schedule. To start adding your classes for A term, click the Add Course button. Here you can start adding courses suggested from your course planning sheet. I will show you a sample schedule of a math course, science course, and a humanities. Let's start by adding the math course. You can either use the drop down menu and scroll to the subject, or you can type in the subject name. Next, you will select your course. My math placement test told me to take Calculus 1, so I will click that. Here you will see a course description for the class. When you want to add it, you will click Add Course. You'll do the same thing for your science. In this case, I'll be taking physics. And for your humanities. I'm going to do my depth in English. So I'm going to see all the English courses that are offered in A term. An introduction to English poetry sounds interesting to me, so I'll click on it and read the course description. When I'm sure that this is a course I want to take, I'll select Add Course. Once you are satisfied with your courses for A term, you're going to click Done, which will bring you back to the main page. You will see all of your courses here in this list. You can use this break function to add time preferences to your schedule. Please note that this is only an option and you do not have to add any breaks. At this time, you're going to click Generate Schedules. You can see it's working. It generated a thousand plus schedule. You will only be able to see schedules that currently have available seats in the class. You can view the schedules by clicking the View button, or if you would like, you can compare the schedules by clicking on more than one. It will give you options that show you the times. I think I like option number one, so I'm going to open number one. When you find a schedule you are happy with, you can lock your courses for the given term into place. You can do this either on the schedule by clicking the lock on the class. You'll see now that the lock has turned red and it's selected. Or up here by clicking this lock. Once your schedule is locked, you can go select courses for B term. So you'll click back. Next to this parts of term, you will hit change and select B term. Please remember to deselect A term. Click Save. Now once again, you're going to add a course. I again am going to add a math course. But this time I'll add Calc 2. I'm going to add a physics course. This time I'll add Physics 1120. And this time I'm going to do a breadth elective for my humanities, so I'm going to do a philosophy course. And I'll do the intro. Again, you'll click Done when you've selected your three courses. And then again, you will click Generate Schedules. You'll notice that your A-term classes have stayed in place. When you click View, you will first see your A-term classes here. You're going to want to click to this part of the schedule here, and you'll see your B-term classes. I can see that you have a Calc 2, a Physics, uh, Electricity and Magnetism, and a Philosophy. When you're happy with your options, you'll again lock in the classes, as we've done before. When your entire schedule is complete for A and B-term, send to Registration Card. From there, you can confirm the courses have been added to your cart by going to Back to Banner and checking the registration area. Once you can see that all of your courses are here, once registration opens, all you'll have to do is click Register. 
As a reminder, locking in your classes does not guarantee that there will be seats in the classes when you go to register, so be sure to go on early and have backups for your registration options.